Okay, you are working on one worksheet this uh, today, and let's look at the side that says working with a grid. On that side, you have um, triangles A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you're going to be filling in the information on the table. You're going to find the perimeter and the area of each one. So there's one, no, there's two examples. I'm going to give you because it's something a little bit unfamiliar. Let's look at rectangle C. Okay? When we find the perimeter, remember you just add up all the sides. So the perimeter for C, we're going to add three and a half plus three and a half. And then the sides that's at the top and the bottom, how many squares long are they? they are one, two, three, three squares long. And remember, that's a whole number, so you want it lined up with the other whole numbers. And we'll just put a zero there to make us feel more comfortable, we'll have a placeholder there when we add. So there's the four sides that you're adding together. Five, ten, and then one, two, three, four times three is twelve, plus one is thirteen, and then our decimal stays lined up right there. Now when you write your answer for perimeter, because it's a length, it's just centimeters. Now let's find the area. The area on this one, remember, is length times width. So when you're multiplying with decimals, um, remember it's three and a half by three. The one that has the most digits will be at the top, three and a half. And in the three, we don't have to worry about lining it up with the whole numbers. We're going to put it here. And we're going to multiply it just like it was 35 times 3. 35 times 3 is what that would look like. So there's a decimal. And you just multiply the same way. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry your 1. And then 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. And then the decimal you only have one decimal number in this problem, so you're only going to have one in your answer, and there it goes. Okay? Now, <clears throat> on um, some problems, you might have two decimal numbers to multiply. Oh, by the way, label this square centimeters. Remember, it's not a length now. We're talking about squares. If you do not label properly, I'm going to take points off. Make sure that you label it properly. Okay, if you have to multiply a decimal times a decimal, let's say it's three and a half times one and a half. I'm going to give you this example because you're going to have to do this on your work. Two decimal numbers multiplied together. You're going to multiply those just like they're 35 times 15. Just ignore the decimal until the very end. 5 times 5 is 25, carry your 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. I'm not worried about the decimal yet. Okay, now this is 1 whole. We're going to remember to start out with a 0 here. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I'm going to add those together just like normal. So far, nothing is different between what we've done and 35 times 15. I'm adding it. Okay, now, how many decimal places are in the problem? There's one decimal number and there's two decimal numbers. That means that we're going to have two decimal numbers in our answer. So I want to put the decimal right here, and there's the first decimal number, and there's the second decimal number. Now, it kind of makes sense because, look, the first number is just a little bit more than 3, and the second number is just a little bit more than 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and this number is very close to 3. It's 5. Think about it. If you had put the decimal here, That'd be 52. That is nowhere close to anything by 3 times 1. That doesn't even make sense. 3 times 1, I mean, even if we rounded it up, let's say 3 and a half, that rounds to 4. 
and one and a half, that rounds to two. Four times two, that's eight. This is huge compared to that. That's why this is wrong. Okay, so when you put your decimal in there, kind of look at it. Does that, is that reasonable? Does it make sense? Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing on one side. And then on the other side, um, we have, we're finding, what is this? Area. We're doing a bunch of area problems. Now, for 7 through 9, you would know how to do those. We practice those, okay? We'll be very careful with those. But on problems 2 through 6, those are different than what we've done. Let's look at number 3. Number 3, it kind of looks like this, okay? And that's 6 meters, 4 meters two meters and three meters okay when you do area of a composite figure that means that there's more than one shape put together or there's you can split it up you can see on the paper that we've split it up for you to look like this so first let's find the area of Let's find the area of this piece up here. Um, this only. Okay? How long is this piece? It's six meters long. Now, is this much right here? Four? No, when it says four meters, it's saying all of that is four. So, how much would this one be? Well, I don't know, but if I look here, if I look here, go straight across, it's parallel to this piece, which is 2 meters. So 2 is here. What do I need more to make 4? I need 2. This has got to be 2 because 2 plus 2 is 4. So now I'm taking the area, the length times width for this. 6 times 2 is what? 12. So this much just here is 12 square meters. Okay, now for this piece here, I know that this much is three. Okay, that is three. That means that this here plus, that means that this plus this plus this they all have to equal the same as what they're parallel to, 6. So this much is 3. I know that this little side here and this little side here add up to 3 so that you have 3 and 3, which is 6. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and find the area of these two, not separately, but together. If this distance from, let me change colors because it's getting all mixed up now. Hmm, let me find a bright green. Yeah. Okay, so if I put this line and this line, these two sides together, that's going to make three. So there's three times this here, two. Three times two is six. So somehow, when, if I were to put these two together, these two boxes here, that's going to make six square meters. Okay? I don't, it doesn't matter what they are separately. We're going to put them all together anyway. So six meters plus 12 meters is 18. And it's not just meters. It's square meters. Okay, so that one was a difficult one. The rest of them are very easy for you. Just look at them separately, but you've got to do some thinking, and you have to do a little bit of math and looking to figure out what the missing sides are. They didn't make it easy for you by telling you. You've got to add, subtract, um, and look at the parallel lines to help you figure that out. We'll finish this paper. You're going to be giving it to your teacher at the end of the class period
and if you want to work with your partner as long as you are actually working then I don't have a problem with that but I do want these two sites completed and turned into your teacher bye